Hello, welcome back. My name is Chris Miller, and in today's video tutorial, we're going to take a look at the REST API that's built right into WordPress. Yep, you heard that right. You've probably heard WordPress as being used in a headless way, or you also might have heard interesting things uh, that WordPress have, has been used uh, in tandem with its REST API. Uh, there have been situations where people use WordPress purely as a backend for their mobile apps to serve up data. Um, and people also host websites using Next.js or Gatsby to pull the data out of WordPress, either using the REST API or GraphQL, which we'll cover in a future video. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at it at a surface level. And in future videos, we're going to take a look at how to use that in other applications. So let's get started. Uh, so out of the box, it's already enabled. There's nothing you have to do. Now, if you do define custom post types, you will have to enable it on that custom post type. Uh, but we're not going to take a look at that. We're just going to pull from a set of posts that we already have loaded up here, some of our fake data. And we're going to search for WP REST API endpoint. And here's a reference handbook. Let's see if that has what we're looking for there. All right, all right, here we go. Okay, so if we append uh, any of these endpoints or URLs to our local URL or staging URL or production URL, we should be able to pull exactly that. So let's copy that. We're going to come over here to our site and we're going to remove everything at the end of the URL and paste in what we just had and we have to get rid of that extra slash there all right and it did not work why didn't it work oh i'm missing something here hold on hold on hold on what am i missing i think it's a isn't it supposed to have here we go it's supposed to have wp-json Yeah, there we go. All right, it looks like a mess. If we inspect it, I'm hoping that it looks a little bit better. No, it doesn't look any better. Well, that's okay. We're gonna use Postman to take a look at this, but we can see a wall of data that we're pulling in of our posts. Let's go ahead and copy this endpoint and let's go over here to our trusty Postman uh, app and we're gonna hit Command N and click uh, the HTTP request and we're going to paste in our URL here and we're going to leave it as git hit send and that is much much prettier okay let me see if I can pull this up here okay now um, here is all the information for the posts that it is querying I do believe it uh, it pulls them in blocks of 10 so here we have an ID of 125, which is for the post. Let's see, there's the title architects. And I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. Uh, but we're coming down here to the content. We have content rendered. And this is the whole body of content that's in the back end. We can take a look at this if we want to see if we can find architects in the back end. Let's click back, back again. Here we go. That is that first post. If we click into that, uh, if we scroll down, we can see um, we have rep as the first character. Is it rep? Yep, sure enough. That is that. Now, if we look at the URL up here as well, uh, we can see that the post ID 125 or 125 is up there, and that should match the ID here. Uh, another little trick. Uh, if you're ever trying to troubleshoot or see uh, what ID it is, if you hover, it's going to be really hard for you to see unless you zoom into this video, uh, but you can see 125 is the post ID down in the bottom left-hand corner uh, if you hover over the link. All right, so now if we scroll down, I'm going to collapse uh, this one, and we can see this is a second post. And if we collapse that, there is a third and so on and so forth. There's a lot of information that comes with this. So it's pretty, pretty powerful. And you can really drill down to get the data that you're looking for. If we peel this back here, let's take off posts. 
and we begin to sort of walk ourselves back through uh, the REST API, we're going to see tons of information in, in endpoints that we can hit uh, on much, much larger sites with a lot more going on. Uh, this is a way that you can see the lay of the land and then begin to drill down into the bits of data that you're looking for. All right. And I'll leave a link in the, the, the description below um, for this documentation here that outlines all of the different endpoints that come out of the box. All right. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the subscribe button below. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave those in the comment section below as well. If you're on Twitter, come find me at Miller T. Chris and check out some of the other videos on this channel.